Hello guys, welcome to Vetrix Home. In this video, we are going to learn the basic startup guide for Laravel. You can see the basic articles about Laravel PHP in my website www.vetrixhome.com. Right? You can go on to the PHP section here, click on it, and you can see the PHP introduction file open. You can go to the PHP navigation and see the Laravel menu there. You can see all the details and articles over there. So if you want if you want video regarding Laravel, you can follow this YouTube channel for more videos. You can find uh, the download files, the first Laravel files in my website as well. And this will be the template we'll be using for the Laravel project in this video. Alright. So let's start with the basic thing, the first thing we need for the Laravel project. That will be the Laravel first file. I've downloaded it here. So you can download it from my website. I'm just copying it. All right. And go to my jam folder. And in the SD docs, right inside the SD docs, I'm going to paste it. All right. So paste it anywhere here. And till it's copied, let's start the jam. Right. It's almost copied and the ZAMP is also open, right? So let's rename it, all right, so that we can call it from the URL. Different for each time. So we'll write localhost slash the folder name. And you know we need to add public URI in the URL to see the Laravel browser, all right? The welcome the PSB file. So the first thing we'll learn here is to trim this public URI from the URL so that you can write this localhost slash project name and see the welcome file instead of these folders. All right. So for that, you need to go open the root folder and then go to the public folder. Move the stxs file. Let's cut it this way so that you can clearly see it. Cut the file from here and paste it in the root folder. So the stxs file is done here. Then rename the server.psp file to index.psp. And it's done. Let's go to the browser and refresh it. So you can see the welcome.psp file without the public URI and Laravel as well. Right? So let's go to the other process then. Let's copy the project file that I showed you in the browser. Let's color my template from its folder, from its location, right? And there you go. So open it and copy all the files. Basically the associated files, except the HTML ones. And copy it. Oh. oh, sorry, I cut it. But anyway, it's better to keep a backup, right? So I'll be doing that one later. And create a new folder inside the public folder named frontend or whatever you want. And paste it inside. All right, there you go. We have got those, all those associated files and inside the public front-end folder. Then go to the same file and copy the HTML files. I've got only one here. You might have four or five files, uh, even more. Copy it. And paste it in your root resources, views, Inside it, create a folder named Frontend. That will make it easier. All right. And then paste it inside it. And the first thing you'll do is change its extension to .blade.psp. All right. So now what you need to do is Bring this file to Sublime Text Editor. I'm using Sublime, you can use anyone. Alright. So, the first
first thing you'll do is modify the env file it's not required unless you create data database right but still it's the first thing first thing you should remember all right keep the username root then the password blank and define the da database name when you're creating a color map database a little bit later so then go to the root folder and open the web.psp file and change the view file here's the welcome to php file being displayed when you hit the base url and change it to front end dot index all right so you can see the front end index file when you hit the url let's refresh it okay you can see on the tab right the color mac new site is being displayed here so the file is being loaded let's wait for it okay now you can see the front end file here but none of the links are working all those css js and image files we need to relocate it but first let's put that style css file inside the css folder so that we don't need to define the path differently for it so I'm going to the public folder front end and css drag it to the css folder okay and that's done then let's go to our index file that's inside resources views and front end right open it and relocate this location relocate the file and you need to define to write url in front of the location and then define from the root entire path where the file is all right i'm copying this portion so that i can use it easily all right then close this yep now you can see the links are working you can see the css working now all right except for the images that we're gonna relocate now and follow the same step for the images too let's start with the top icon images all right define the URL, urls okay that's in the same folder then close the tag as well closing the brackets okay that's done so let's have a look how it's done how it looks okay you can see the icons on the top right so Following the same process, we need to copy, uh, sorry, we need to define the URL for all those images one by one individually. It looks a bit tedious, but it helps you see the layout before you start, start programming it. All right. It'll take a little bit of time because this template is a bit longer. And it's got a lot of images. A bit more. I know you'll be asking why this is because we're going to add the images from the back end, right? But it's very important to see the layout before programming any website, all right? Make it changing any website into dynamic so that you don't run the design all right so let's have a look uh, one image left so let's search this emails yep that's done now okay so that's the way we start the Laravel framework here and uh, we'll learn the other parts in the next video that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you